What's up guys, it's Jake here from HoopaRev.com bringing you a video review for a brand new product to hit the market. Now before you start passing judgment and asking why I'm smoking out of this, there is an explanation to it. That wasn't the explanation. Yeah, this is a brand, I don't know what I did there, I think I panned out. Alright, this is a brand new product, it's called Souk, and that is how it's pronounced. This is basically an ice hose tip adapter. This is very similar to some of the other products that you guys have seen out, coming out, like the Mystique Ice Tip. Uh, even the Maya Freeze Hose has a version of it. There's a few other random ones out there. Um, but this one, this one is the newest. So, as far as the looks, it's very interesting, isn't it? Now, basically how this works is inside this uh, pipe-looking contraption, is a glycerin mix. Now, for those of you who remember, I did review the Mystique Ice Tip, and that was one of my complaints that it was uh, maybe a glycerin pack would would be better. Now, just from looking at this and just based off of the weight, there's no way that a plastic pipe like this could weigh this much. So I'm guessing that other than the middle pipe that goes all the way down, the whole thing is filled with the glycerin. Uh, blend. So that's definitely a plus. Now it takes about two hours, I've noticed, to get it to fully freeze over. Uh, when, when it's not cold, basically you can shake around, you can hear the liquid inside. But it takes a little bit while, uh, it takes a little while in the freezer to freeze up, obviously. Um, and it's advertised to last about two hours. Touch into that a little bit later. Um, but yeah, just going over this, it's a very, it's, it's a very simple product if you think about it. Um, yeah, so two flexible PVC or plastic bits at the end with the pipe in the middle with their logo. And basically how it works is it just attaches. This is the hose that I'm recommended to at least try it with uh, because they do come with another piece of adapter that actually fits the larger hoses. Again, I'll touch on that later in the video. But yeah, basically it just, it just pops on just like that. We try to do it a little closer on without killing my hookah. So yeah, it just slips right on. Dirty minds. Anyways, so yeah, so that's all. That's that's really how it works. And this becomes the handle for your hose. And yeah, it just moves around pretty free, freely. It works works pretty well with this hose. Now I am surprised as to the smoke output from this generic hose. Um, but yeah, that's not really what we're reviewing here, is it? It's the actual ice tip. The cooling is definitely there. I mean, I tried this last night for the first time, and I actually smoked it all the way through. It outlasted one of my funnel bowl sessions, so it outlasted my two hour bowl session. Now, just out of curiosity, I wasn't in the mood to smoke another bowl, so I just kept basically just puffing on it every now and then um, while I was just sitting watching TV, and it lasted for about four hours. Now, this is the smaller version. There's actually a bigger version as well, uh, which is supposed to last twice as long, so I can only imagine that the bigger version lasts, oh God, it probably pushes like five, five, six hours, which is, it's going to outlast any bowl out there, unless you guys are die how Tangiers, they can get like, you know, 36 hours out of your bowls. Um, but yeah, this is basically just going to last your entire session there. Now, since we're all about experimenting here at hookref.com, I will show you some of the different options that you can take. Now, this is how I recommend you guys use it. If you guys get a fancy hose, they're super cheap online, just get them, just pop it on like this, and you've, you've got one of the best uh, ice tips out there used with one of the best gauge hoses out there for super cheap. Now to answer some uh, important questions here. Okay, the ice tip, it cools a lot. I mean, it does a really good job cooling, 
for I would say a good three and a half to four hours even on the small model. Okay, it works great. The functionality part of it is spot on. Now, some of the things that I guess I would recommend and some of the things that you guys are going to want to hear uh, is I was, as far as the aesthetics, it's all right, but the writing on here, it's vinyl. I could see that kind of peeling off very easily. Now, w one of the parts about this, I thought it was just going to be uh, very wet and you know maybe a little too cold to the touch because it's all filled with glycerin. But after a while, basically throughout this entire time of the video, or uh, up to this point, I've taken it out of the, my freezer, been using it. Now it's it's not it's not freezing, but it's very cold inside. So it's cool. It's it's touchable. It's touchable after a very short amount of time. So the one thing is the design. It's really not. It has nothing to do with the functionality, of course. Um, but I would just say that this is the this is the prototype one. Um, the weight of it is good. It doesn't affect my range here at all. Like like I said, this is this is probably going to be the best setup for you guys. If you can, if you have a fancy hose or if you can get a fancy hose, I mean this is going to be the best setup. Uh, I, I would say um, the tip part, maybe like a better mouth tip. I would say. Um, I mean, it works just fine, but I just think, again, for aesthetics, I would say, as users, we would probably want something a little bit more upgraded than just a, uh, like a flexible rubber piece here. Yeah, I mean, it definitely cools the smoke. It advertises it to actually smooth out hard smoke. Now, anything that, that brings down the temperature, like ice in your vase, uh, or any other kind of mouth or like an ice tip is going to do that. I mean, I wouldn't say it's dramatic, but it's definitely going to kind of mask that in a sense. And this does a very good job in cooling, uh, so it, it is going to take some of the harshness out of there for you. And a lot of you guys are very good at loading bowls. Um, it doesn't, I mean, I guess it doesn't make too much of a difference, I guess, in that sense. I mean, if you're burning bowls, if you have a lot of issues with it, this really is, is, is going to help you out a lot. Yeah, I mean, there's no restriction in this part whatsoever, and that is definitely a good thing. Now, you guys remember, I don't know if you've seen this video, but if you haven't, I'd watch it because I laugh every time I watch it. Uh, but I had some issues with the Mystique ice tip and its bulkiness. The port... Okay. Not so good times for me. But yeah, it's always fun to watch those uh, highlight reels, basically. So yeah, the Suukos, it's available right now only from them direct. It is this URL right here. Check them out, pick it up if you want to try this out. Um, priced very competitively, competitively, I would say. For something that's as durable as this, I don't see this breaking. Uh, it's definitely well worth the investment if, if for those of you that want to cool the smoke without messing with the ice in your vase and you know etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I'm actually smoking the new Starbuzz Code Blue out of my funnel bowl off Aqua Medium Solid, and as far as the flavor, it it doesn't really alter the flavor to me. I typically, I personally don't like uh, any kind of cooling effect in my smoke. That's just me personally, um, but this. I mean, it really does bring out like the mint out of the flavor. So it really brings that sensation out, and it just, it does, it just cools the smoke. It doesn't affect the cloud output at all. I, the, the main reason why I don't like to put ice in my base is because it does mess with the cloud output. Um, but yeah, so I mean, there's really, as far as functionality, it does a great job. Uh, yeah, overall hookerup.com rating. We're gonna give this one a solid 90 out of 100. 10 points were all lost based on aesthetics alone. So, I mean, for what for what that's worth, hopefully that'll help you make your decision as far as if you want to try this product or not. But I can definitely see some of the big retailers picking this product up soon. Uh, I don't see why they why they wouldn't because it's I mean it is a quality product. Um, obviously, with some room for improvement as far as the aesthetics go. But as far as the performance goes, even if there isn't a sticker on there, it really doesn't make a difference to us, does it? All right, so on another note, the good old folks at Suukuka, they're actually giving you guys an opportunity. Now, for those of you following me on uh, Facebook, you would have heard about this already, but they are giving two of you lucky, two of you lucky viewers an opportunity to actually try one of these for free. They will even ship it to you. So, there is only one catch. You just have to post a video response 
to this video right here and just tell Sue why it is that you feel like you should be the recipient of a free Sook ice tip. Now, it doesn't have to be a review of any sort. It does, I mean, there's really no guidelines. Just post a video up. I'm just trying to make this a little bit more interactive, a little bit more fun so we can get involved. Um, but yeah, basically it's a free giveaway. So two of them are up for grabs. Uh, we'll be reviewing them and going through and seeing which one of the contestants. Obviously, it pro you probably score some brownie points if you are a reviewer yourself and uh, you know maybe get some get them some exposure as well so I mean this is a great opportunity I love it when vendors are willing to participate and you know get out there in the community like ours and just and just give stuff away so yeah just go for it I mean let's close this out uh, seven days so seven days from today from when this video was posted the deadline is seven days one whole week that gives you guys plenty of time to uh, you know, practice in front of the camera and whatnot to uh, pitch why it is that you deserve a free souk ice tip. Um, yeah, that's really it, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Before I let you guys go, please, if you haven't done so yet, find us on Facebook. That one that I pointed out right there. Uh, like us so you can actually follow us. Uh, there's going to be not new year, new projects giving away a lot more stuff. So if you want to stay up to date on the videos that we're releasing as well as some of the giveaways like this, you know, there's there's a lot of you guys out there that know that I'm giving something away before I'm even doing this video. So how did you find out? Facebook. Everybody's on Facebook. So find us on our fan page, get interactive. There's a bunch of people just asking questions on there. I'm always happy to answer and just have people jump in as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Take one more puff before I close curtains here. There it is. Souk. See you guys next time.